For the next few days, you can get 50% off a subscription to The Athletic. See the link in the description. Hello, and welcome to the inaugural TIFO Football Manager Premier League Fantasy Draft, where we set our TIFO experts against each other in brutal FM combat to find out who's the best. What's the fantasy draft? Well, each player is given 500 million pounds, and with it they take it in turns to assemble a 16-man squad. Now for this tournament, they can only pick from this season's Premier League players, and then it's a cup competition. Two-legged semis and a final. So let's meet our contestants. Who knows best? Me? Author of Football Manager Stole My Life? Alex Stewart, who was literally the BBC's Transfer Deadline Day Football Manager expert? JJ Bull, who has real-life coaching badges? Or Joe Devine? Let's find out. My strategy is to win. Uh, it's also to definitely beat Alex Stewart, the expert. Pretty sure I can do that. I think I've worked out what the kind of meta of Football Manager this version is. I'm going to try and use those tactics, which are going to be a sort of 4 4 2, 4 2 4, um, quite direct. It's tournament football, so I am going to be prosaic, organised, tedious, and play for set pieces. I learned my lesson from the last time that we uh, played a Football Manager game here at TIFO, so. I'm going to try hard this time, and as a result, I've decided I'm going to play three at the back. I feel like these chaps out there are going to play attacking or fluid formations. I'm going to try and choke things up. I'm going to use the same tactic that I've used with Sunderland and with Schalke on uh, other athletic articles, which is basically a 4-3-3 fluid counter-attack. Joe Devine tried to set an alliance with me uh, earlier on. I'm going to try and steal most of the players he wants in his team. I'm informed I do have a successful alliance with JJ, so that's useful. Only a fool would enter a competition like this without an alliance. People like James Ward-Prowse are really important. I really, really want James Ward-Prowse. I really want him in the middle, especially for corners and free kicks and that. The secret sauce is James Ward-Prowse, because he's so good at set pieces, and everything is built on set pieces. I need every margin here, so probably going to make a bid for him very, very early, as long as Alex doesn't. James Ward Prowse. Oh, <laughs> for f sake. Really Absolutely livid. Harry Kane. Tierney. Trent Alexander Arnold, please. Kevin De Bruyne joining Joe Rovers. Wilfred and Dee. Dominic Calvert Lewin, please. I should have picked him on the last go. I thought no one was gonna have him. Uh, Ruben Diaz, please. Ruben Diaz. Is he? Yeah. Oh, you mother. You took him from me. Rhys James. <laughs> Gareth Bale. He's not there. Why not? David De Gea for 11 million. Oh, uh, don't take him, please. David De Gea. <laughs> the draw is... Alex versus JJ. <laughs> oh, wait. That's me and you. So overall, I think that went pretty well. I'm using pretty much the same formation I use with Schalke on the FM Bundesliga Challenge on the Athletic, which is a little bit lopsided. You have um, your overlapping wing back out here on the left while Wan Bissaka keeps it tight and he provides insurance because Zahar's going to move up there. Everything pivots off Kane and then you've got this sort of triangle of energy in the middle. We always want to be positive and looking to make chances right from the start. I've tried to keep it fairly simple. We're big on set pieces, not as big as we'd be if we had James Ward Prowse, but I'm reasonably happy that I've got what I need. Quite what Joe Devine is going to come up with though, it's anyone's guess. I'm a uh chastened by the defeat in our last Football Manager episode. So I'm taking this one a little bit more seriously. And as a result of that, I found a tactic online <laughs> that I've downloaded to use with my team. Now, I have to say I was quite pleased with the way that the draft went. Uh, I have most of my first choices here. I tried to select players that I thought the other chaps wouldn't select. And I went for players like Alexander Arnold and De Bruyne fairly early on so as not to miss out on them. Um, I've also gone for three at the back because I figure that that might catch some of them by surprise and also, you know, taking, I suppose, a little bit of advice from what happened in the real Premier League season, uh, the one just gone, three at the back seemed to serve 
some teams rather well. Although you'll see up here there's this rather unorthodox sort of attacking square. I'm informed that this works relatively well because we're a high intensity team uh, with a series of instructions for in possession, a series for in transition and a series for out of possession. You join us here in the stadium where the yellow team is playing against the black team. I believe the yellow team belongs to Ian McIntosh. Good luck, Joe. Um, yes, to you also, old man. Pace to speed, he's beyond the last man. Oh my, this could yes, be an so. awful chance. Very he's in, one v one with the keeper, me. and he's made a miss. He's missed it! No! Alexander Arnold with the not particularly great <laughs> attempt at a tackle, <laughs> and he's let Sterling go by, he's opened up his foot, wow. curled into the corner. My word, what a goal. Okay. I mean, what happened to my defence? I'm worried about your goalkeeper's positioning now. He, well, he, he parted them like Moses in the Red Sea, Ian. Raheem Sterling, man. He was only like pick 13 for me. I actually tried, you know. Could I use one of my timeouts, please? Um, I just need to go to set pieces um, and defensive set pieces. Corners. Okay, can I move that defensive midfielder who's on go forward on the penalty spot? Can I put him to stay back, please? <laughs> nope, stay back all the time. And the same on left corners. What is the point of this Because game? that's how you got this me. This game is so stupid. <laughs> that's, that's my... That's boring. My boring. Play the game. When's the game playing? Oh, we're playing the game. Here we go. Puts it into Ruben Neves. Who's, that's a great ball to progress the play. And now Mendy's in a bit of space on the left. Fantastic work rate to get back by whoever that is. Ruben Neves plays the ball back into Mendy though. He's causing trouble. And Sarn's very good. Yes! 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 You're old. You're an old man. Oh, I'm a young man. Full of vitality. That's just mean. Well, Joe Devine's team. Wan Basak is back on the ball. Now he's got chances in the middle. And Sterling finishes with a header. The smallest man on the pitch. You get beaten by Sterling in the air. It, what, in front of the goalkeeper? Wow. I, do you know, I'm this close to taking my goalkeeper off. I'm, I, I would be this close to having him shot. De Gea was supposed to be on my bench, you know? <laughs> and you got him in your team. I believe it was only 10 million. But yet to really challenge the goalie, as far as I can remember. Taking it in. Oh! And that won't challenge the goalie. No, I thought that was away. Away. Away! <laughs> Not away like that. I'm playing it out from the back. I see that. It's very cultured. It is. Look at this, and then I'm knocking it long. What's your runner? Right. Oh. <gasps> so much space, there's so much space. He's on his own for about 10 minutes. Tell you what, Benjamin Mendy was a good pick. Thanks for telling me about him. <laughs> well, for my halftime team talk, I want to tell people uh, to dig in and give everything you've got left tonight because we deserve to win this match. Okay. So let's go Would you like to and do it. Would you Can I make a substitution? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook that keeper. <laughs> no, that seems like a mistake. That seems like something the old Joe would do. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna sub Jamie Vardy, and I'd like to bring on Temu Puki, please. My secret weapon from Finland. Sun manages to take it on. There's lots of passing, no shooting. Mendy tries, but it's blocked. There's too many bodies in the way. Mendy comes back, hurls it in with his right foot, but it's cleared by Virgil van Dijk. Chance now for Kante to Robertson. It's blocked. Oh, that is rubbish. <laughs> now, come on, Gabriel. We're still at one down. We have to salvage this. They move the ball around quickly. Oh, they found some space here. Puki might be in. He's oh, you somehow done to miss two open from chances. Three yards. What do I have to do? Can I just make a point of saying that this is what they say in football, isn't it? When you the chances you create, you can only create them for the team. If they don't take them, it's their fault. I I. Why aren't they doing it? For a novice, what's, what have I done wrong? What's, what's happening that's wrong? conceding more goals. Okay, I would like to change my mentality from positive to defensive, please. I think that happened earlier, if we're being honest. <laughs> I'd like to swap out Ross Barkley for John McGinn. I think you should have done that earlier. Did you actually start Ross Barkley ahead of John McGinn? I did. <laughs> You're from 2013, <laughs> aren't you? And then sub off Zahar for Brian Gill. Hmm. It seems like I have a hill to climb. And then... Um, in possession, could I go for time wasting frequently? That shouldn't even be in the game. Time wasting to max, please. What? 
This is some BS. Now, listen, I need to make some changes too. <laughs> alliance. Alliance. Yeah. Alliance. What do I do, Alliance? I don't know. <laughs> Are you breaking the Alliance? No, I just don't know what to do. Very attacking, please. Okay? Thank you. Is that the wrong thing to do? <laughs> it has mixed records of success, let's put it like that. Okay. <laughs> Alexander Arnold on the overlap rescues that ball because it was awful. It's a low oh! ball in the box to Bruyne. Oh. And again, yeah. what a save by De Gea. This is, this is, this, this, the game's against me. Now, quick, release, release, release. Why, why, why? There we go. No. County and Kane link well. Phillips now to McGinn. What a ball that is oh, for Brian. Brian! Brian! This is the hill I die on. As we can see again, the ball from John McGinn really makes that goal. Black dash football. Jeez. And again. Substitute to substitute. Well, guess what? <laughs> Your players did it on the day, and mine are going to the dungeon. He's got space. Sun's joining in. Still Sun got that away left. A low ball in the box. Could be the last chance. Away. Fernandez puts it on to Bruyne. He's missed. Don't know how that hasn't what gone. A, in. What am I supposed to do? This is ridiculous. Oh, Play backwards. This is, this is like blatant time wasting. Where's the ref? Have you been booked yet? Did the ref see you tick the box that said <laughs> frequently time waste every opportunity? Come on, Brian. You know where to go. This guy's been your man of the match, I'd say. Been all right, hasn't he? Been fantastic. Good luck for the rest of the season. <laughs> That's a lot of XG. 2.51 XG, and I lose the game with one goal. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on. That's a good win. Let's give more of the same next time. I'm far from pleased. Throw a water bottle, please. Yes. And make sure it hits one of them in the head. These virtual scumbags will do my bidding. So, Joe, uh, what do you make of the game today? What do you think I made of the game? I don't think we played anywhere near the level that we could play, and we got a bit lucky, to be honest. Everything is death. Are you confident in the head of the uh, second leg? Oh, very confident. We've got two goal advantage. We play on the counter-attack. Joe's going to have to rip up whatever tactics he was playing with today and just come up with something completely new. Were you pleased with the tactical setup that you chose for today's match? Now, there's a question. I was pleased with my tactical setup. I thought it was inventive. I have to say, I know a manager shouldn't throw their own players under the bus, but it is the player's fault because I did everything right. You saw the XG tells a different story, and we all know XG is the most important thing. I should have won that game. Ian, he shouldn't even be here. He, I thought he retired. I don't, he doesn't even have a Twitter account anymore. Where did you get your inspiration for the match tactics this afternoon? Online. Joe Devine mentioned that he um, got his tactics from online. What do you make of this new uh, take on football management? Uh, I, th I think it's best not to, uh, not to speculate too much uh, where Joe has been online. This is what I think the sort of meta is in Football Manager. It's like a 4 2 4, um, really attacking. Uh, it's not, uh, you see my uh, pass into space, you see him want to play in the counter a little bit. But basically, what I want to do is be relentless and just keep going and going and going and going and going at Alex, who uh, I have a strong suspicion is going to destroy me. But uh, I wish I'd had James Ward Prowse to put in this um, box to box thing. I really wish I'd had. Like Kante or something, like a ball winner in that bit there, instead of put Hjoyberg there, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm playing a press which is quite high. I don't want to, to counter press. I want them to sort of regroup so I don't get played through too easily. And then when I do win the ball back, then I can push up really high. Playing a really high line with an offside trap. Laporte's gonna be a ball winner. Tierney and Pereira are gonna overlap on the right. And then Foden and Diogo Jota, I'm hoping, um, I haven't picked a button to make this happen, but they're going to do lots of lovely rotations with the front players here. And basically, we're just going to go at them like a swarm of bees. Will I beat Alex? We'll see how this works. My zonal and man marking system is a mix, but it's not been set up properly. Probably going to get hammered. So I have gone for uh, kind of a boring system. Um, it's a 4-4-2, emphasizing defense. The main ploy here is that in Jack Grealish and Jadon Sancho, I've got very, very quick, tricky wingers who are going to win fouls. Uh, I then have James Ward-Prowse, who it appears everybody wanted, uh, and then a couple of big defenders and also Calvert-Lewin to get in on the free kicks and corners that I'm hopefully going to win. So we're playing for set pieces. 
Uh, in transition, we're going to counter and counter press. Try and retain the ball with uh, possession, shorter passing, uh, slightly higher tempo to aid that counter attacking system. This is kind of like the uh, fluid counter attack um, default with a couple of tweaks. Um, and that's basically it. You know, hopefully we'll keep it tight, keep it organized, spring forward on rare occasions, catch them kind of going, uh, panicking, bring down Grealish, bring down Sancho, and then uh, make use of the set pieces. It's not going to be pretty, uh, but hopefully it will be effective because it's tournament football. Um, and the lesson that we've learned from the Euro is this is the way to go. And hello, good evening, and welcome to FC Alex against Sporting Mallard. Hoiberg, oh, that stupendous block from Jaden Sancho, and that could trigger quite the counter-attack because it's Bobby Firmino now. Might have taken the wrong choice there. He's, he's, he's found his way into a blind corner. Low cross, Calvert-Lewin no, is ready. Been... Riveting. <laughs> this is exactly what I thought it would be. <laughs> We're, we're just a very boring team. Yeah. A fantastic tackle, and now it's Jaden Sancho on the counter. What can he do here? There's a target. There's a target. He's missed the target. I don't mind that kind of attack happening, because expect it. You've got to try and... They, the they will position. never score that way. No one ever does the one-on-one -on -one things. Yeah. They, yeah. The whole length of the field, and then... Absolutely nothing. Sancho blocked by Tierney. Oh, and then Foden plays the ball straight back and Jaden Sancho has another chance. Well, that's just careless. And Didi, Ward Pros. Look like a well don't, 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 do don't shoot. You know don't Blocks. shoot. This is what I'm looking for. Look how we regroup. Some folks. tight marking Sick. in the box. Mane's just going on his deal. own. Oh, Alisson on. only as far as Cavani. Cavani you scores and Sporting little. Mallard, slightly <laughs> against the run of play, have taken the lead. Wow. Alisson could have put that ball anywhere. Apart from right at the feet of Cavani. That should not have happened. Hmm. Yet it did. It's the kind of stuff we're looking for. Again, that's something I talked about to them in the secret team talk that you can do if you have uh, the secret version of this year's football manager. Winning the XG as well, which is very important. As suggested, I expect to see a much better showing. With no gesture? No, I don't gesture. Okay. He says gesturing. We've got to guard against complacency now. Oh, Don't think job is done. He knows. With no gesture. He knows. There's a lot more to come from you, and I believe you've got what it takes. There's a lot more to come from you, and I believe you've got what it takes. What are you? Man motivator. I'm not entirely convinced that this trying to win set pieces thing is actually working. <laughs> but you see, leave, leave chance, your quick player he's back as well. Down by Diogo that was a that horrendous challenge. A kick, and I'm quite surprised he wasn't booked. Ball in, Zuma. Oh, what a save. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> we definitely have the better of this half so far. Too deep, the break, way please. too wayward. No. And Diogo counters for Mallard. Outside, outside. Roaring down the touchline. There's Heiberg at the back of the box. Charged down again. This is desperate defending from FC Alex. Tierney still fit. <gasps> oh, yeah. It's also. Yes. No, thank you. You just injured him. Do you have, <laughs> do you have hard tackles set on or something? You get stuck in. I don't know, maybe. You tear you apart in the press. Big, deep cross, Calvert Lewin. Oh, 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 oh my word, that's on, terrible. Man. Absolutely free on the edge of the six yard box. Brings in Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse, brilliant no. save from Edison. <laughs> well, pool groin's bad. I think we should replace him. Can you just do it? Yeah. It's fine. Why don't you nurse him, JJ? Is there a nursing option? Yeah, you can yes. nurse him through the game. <laughs> Nah, I need to be hard. Going strong. Cavani. Ricardo Mane with yep. a header. What a stop oh, by Alisson. Oh, come on. Is a real tale of the... Oh, Cavani. Oh, over. that's good though. Real tale of two goalkeepers here. <sighs> I'm pleased with this. This is good. Sporting Mallard have controlled this game. It's been largely... I mean, it's been completely easy, really, if you think about it. You're at home. Haven't really posed a threat. Uh, nothing's come good whatsoever. Oh, it's another fine save by Edison. And he has earned his money to do so. <laughs> Anything from this last corner, is there even time for it You're to be taken? for a last-minute equaliser. Yeah. You, 
your hubris will it's be punished. One well done. Of the worst That's the zonal system and again. That surely is Working that. very well. It's going to be advantage Mallard here. A strong win for the Mallards. What the noise does the Mallard make? I'm far from pleased. That's a good win. JJ, congratulations. Good result. Must be pleased with that. Very pleased with that. The boys put in a really good shift and uh, I think at the end of the day the most important thing is the three points and we go again. Okay, Alex. What went wrong? Uh, nothing. You did lose again. Uh, more shots on target. Uh, more shots overall. 13 corners to four and we were the better team. They did score once and you didn't? Yeah. What went wrong? Uh, we didn't finish our chances. Who was to blame for that? Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Absolutely, we're confident. We're taking it one game at a time, and the three points would have been great were it, uh, were it a league fixture. But because this is a cup game, I'm really pleased with the win and the way it feels like three points, and we go again. Would you say that this defeat has left you frazzled and rethinking your future? Yeah, I think uh, I think I need to take some time. There must have been three or four big chances for Alex's team there. Um, do you think he was unlucky today? Three or four, but not enough to win the three points. And at the end of the day, I think I'm most pleased that the boys put in a good shift and won the equivalent of three points. Is this really the job for you? No. No, Joe made me. I just, I'm just gonna go. I'm just going, I'm going. Well then. Our first legs are complete. Our managers are going to go away, give their heads a wobble and come back revitalised because it's still all up for grabs. We'll be back next episode for the second legs and the final. Now, if you like that kind of thing, give my Twitter account a follow. It's Ian underscore games on Twitter. That's Ian with two eyes, just to be slightly complicated. We've got loads of gaming content on The Athletic as well, so have a good look out for that. Remember that you can find so many videos, both on TIFO and TIFO IRL. And of course, subscribe to The Athletic. the next few days, you can get 50% off a subscription to The Athletic. See the link in the description.